Hi everyone, welcome to Home Radio Collectibles, where today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers The Last Knight Deluxe Class Premier Edition Barricade. So he's back for round two with Bumblebee to get his revenge in a brand spanking new vehicle mode, which is looking pretty sweet just on the box, I might add. Uh, it also shows uh, Bumblebee on there, but this is just the Age of Extinction mold, just with more yellow. But I have actually seen... Uh, that there is actually going to be another Bumblebee mold coming out, which is a lot more accurate. It's actually accurate to that. So it basically, I think, uses pretty much the same transformation, same principles of this mold, but they've just changed up some of the features on it. And it just looks so, so much better because for Age of Extinction, he looked very different uh, to the previous films. And then now he's going back to that sort of original look, which I think everyone prefers. But yeah, really, really nice box. I love the artwork and everything that's on these in the window style packaging and everything. It says Barricade Sinister Trickster. Uh, love the Decepticon logo on there as well. So let's go ahead and get this thing open and take a closer look. And here we have Barricade out of the packaging, and here it is next to the Human Alliance version of its former self. So obviously there is a scale difference here, but I'm just using it as a comparison just so that you can see the differences in terms of paint and also just the design of the actual car itself. Now this vehicle and the whole design and everything of this thing, especially the paint job, was one of my favorite, favorite things from the first movie. So obviously you have the uh, the different police emblem right there, you've got the Decepticon logo incorporated in it. And then instead of having protect and serve, you have to punish and enslave. That was just a really, really awesome touch that they put on there. So obviously this is a bit of an unfair comparison if you compare the actual toys themselves because this has the interior in there and everything and the opening doors and stuff. And this does come with a frenzy. I have no idea if we're actually going to get frenzy in this film or not. But I can definitely say that these lights do look a lot better than the ones over here at least. We do get a Decepticon logo except it's not like incorporated into any kind of existing police emblem. It's just there. Still does have to punish and enslave on there but that may just be for the toy. I'm not massively sure honestly because all over the box are all over him uh, in robot mode on his shoulders and on his obviously the knuckle dusters which you do see in here and also on his thighs you do actually see protect and serve. So I'm not sure if this really should be there, but it is very nice and I do definitely prefer that to protect and serve. And another thing, I also love the fact that they've still gone with those clear windows, uh, even though you've got no interior or anything in there, I always do prefer the clear windows on Transformers, even if we have that massive gap there. Uh, and then over here to the front, we have some nice lights there and including some painted headlights too. These ones down here really should be painted as well. Moving to the back, we do have an area for the license plate, but no actual license plate on there. But we do get some painted uh, rear taillights there, so that is pretty sweet. So you do get more paint than what you would normally get on a Deluxe Class Transformer, to be honest with you. Um, as you can see, it is more of a deep blue than the black that we originally got, so that's a pretty cool change too. Um, if you wanted to go ahead and customize this guy, the molding is there for some really sweet paint choices. Uh, you know, changing up this grill, uh, the wheels, there and then also obviously the rear end and I think I will actually be picking up a second one and doing just that. Now he does come with some accessories so we have this piece which is going to go on his arm in robot mode which you can actually open up it is hinged and you can go ahead and peg this in over here and it can become uh, some really cool armament on the back there so he can uh, have a nice missile barrage or something. He also comes with this baton right here, which you'll see more in robot mode, and also a pistol. You do actually have some storage for those in vehicle mode though, as you can see down here, which is actually where it's gonna be in uh, robot mode anyway. So you could technically just leave these attached. Uh, you can go ahead and put these underneath peg him in and as you can see he still rolls with them underneath they don't actually come down below the wheels so I definitely do dig this vehicle mode to go ahead and transform him into the robot mode what we're going to go ahead and do is lift up the entire top section like so fold in those doors and then the arms are going to uh, come down just like so rotate up on these hinges and we can swing out those shoulder pieces like that. The legs are going to detach, rotate and then bring these panels out and to the back and then lock them in place. They become the heels. Do the same thing on the other side. Rotate that around 
and then the torso piece here, which is the front of the car, literally just comes down, and then the back, bring down, lock into place, and that is it. Now I have to say, this is a very, very awesome robot mode. However, I think he should probably be a little bit taller, because like I said, those protect and serve emblems that are supposed to be on him, they're supposed to be on these shoulder pieces right here, and then also down here on the thighs. And also these thighs are supposed to be made up of this color, this kind of tan color, but also this bit here is meant to be white, just like this. And then you're also supposed to have a bit of blue in there as well. So I think to have protect and serve on there and also have those different colors, he should have been a bit bigger. Also, that would have meant that we could have had more moving parts in this torso piece, which could have maybe slimmed it down a little bit because just like the original barricade, this figure has a kind of bulky upper torso right there, which isn't really helped by this backpack. This doesn't have like a midsection, which I really think it should have. I think this bottom piece really should collapse up there as well to make that even smaller, just like what we already have with like, for example, the Age of Extinction Bumblebee figures. And to be honest, every Bumblebee figure uh, where the back has collapsed in the movie ones. I definitely dig the look of this guy, don't get me wrong, but if you were going to go for a bit more of an accurate look, then definitely I think that having him a bit bigger would have been a bit nicer. So as of the looks, he does stand uh, about five and a half inches tall uh, to his wheels there. These, uh, we have this baton right here, a nice police baton. It can store on the leg and can stay there throughout transformation. You also have a pistol which can store over on this side and you can also uh, hold it as well. Very, very nice detailing and everything, very nice sizes as well. And then we have this piece over here, which like I said, connects to the arm. So you literally peg it into the underside of the arm there and it collapses around and then forms this awesome cannon and that just looks so so epic so onto the fist you can actually see he has protect and serve knuckle dusters over to the face there you can see a really nice decepticon logo very small and nicely painted red eyes there now the rest of the head is looking very bland you've just got that big tan section at the back and then just a big lump of blue there should be more colors in here so i'll definitely be going ahead and painting that up if i go ahead and grab a second version but another thing, if you don't like all this kibble on here with this big back section, if you do want him to look a bit more slender, you can go ahead and take it off. On this hinge right here, it just pulls off and then you have a much more slender, awesome looking barricade. But obviously, I mean, then it becomes kind of like a parts form and that's not really what I like with Transformers. I like keeping everything on them. Uh, so I definitely would go ahead and just keep that on especially for ease of play and stuff for kids. Obviously, they're not going to want to just keep on taking that back section off, especially as you might damage it over time if you kept on doing it. So I definitely just go ahead and leave that pegged in there. Also, if you do leave it pegged in, I kind of wish this tabbed in a bit more than this also, to be honest. Um, if you do leave it pegged in, where you stored this in vehicle mode, you can actually keep it there in robot mode. And then from the front, you can't actually see it. So then you can keep all of his weapons on him at all times, which is pretty cool. So as for the articulation for this guy, the head's on a ball joint, you can actually pivot, which is really kind of awesome for a transformer. And then you've got your left and right and slight little bit of up and down. Shoulders can rotate around. And then because of transformation, you have a little bit of a butterfly right there and they can also swing down as well. Come out to the side, rotate all the way around. You've got your rotation there at the uh, up part of the arm and then a single jointed elbow rotation at the wrists, which is also nice. And then you've got the ball jointed hips, so they can move in all directions, rotation there, single jointed knee, and then a bit of foot articulation as well. So overall, I definitely think that the Barricade is actually one of the best movie Transformers that we've ever gotten. He's really, really simple to transform. He has an awesome robot and awesome vehicle mode, comes with epic accessories. Definitely love those little quirky bits like the Protect and Serve Knuckle Dusters right there. Still has the Punish and Enslave inscription in the vehicle mode. Maybe a Voyager would have done. And then you could go ahead and get some better transformation and having a much more accurate version to the movie. But as far as a toy goes, I think this is fantastic fantastic especially for the price and everything so i'm glad that it's a deluxe in a way because it means you can really easily get your hands on a barricade so thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed the video go ahead and give it a like and if you want to see more videos from me check out the ones that are on the screen right now and go ahead and check out my social media it's instagram and twitter homerino123 the links are in the description below and for more videos go ahead and subscribe thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time